Welcome to this tutorial on how to print checks in QuickBooks Desktop. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University. And so a number of businesses still print checks and pay their bills that way. So, you know, of course, there's a number of businesses that pay things online or, you know, pay them electronically, etc. cetera. Uh, but of course, there's those uh, situations when you need to print a check out of QuickBooks Desktop. So that's what we're going to walk through in this video. I'm going to walk through how to uh, set up the printer so that it's aligned correctly so that everything looks okay. And then also how to choose the type of checks and how to print them. Okay. Now there's a couple of situations where you're going to need to print a check in a QuickBooks desktop or a couple of situations that should say that uh, arise. So the, the first of course is the most simple if you go to banking and write checks and let's say that uh, you are just entering this one check and it is to CU Electric, okay, unpaid bills. We're going to just continue to write the check and we're going to say 25.23 all right and it goes to the account and we're going to say print later okay so that's one situation all right another one is if you go to vendors and you go to pay your bills all right so in this case let's say that we're going to uh you know pay that pay that cal gas and electric cal telephone so we're going to pay these bills and we're going to go down here and make sure that it says to be printed okay and it's going to be a check all right so we're going to say pay selected bills okay so now we have this screen that comes up we can pay more bills or we can print checks so if you are here of course you can click this print checks but i want to show you where to go if you're not at this screen so we're going to click done all right and you are going to go up to the file drop down menu you're going to see the option here, print forms. All right. So in this case, you would say checks. All right. So before we do that, though, I want to show you how to get your printer and everything set up so that it's aligned with your checks. Generally, there's going to be three types of checks uh, that QuickBooks allows you to use uh, to print. Now, if I click on this, I want to show you uh, what those options are. Okay, so let me just click OK. So you're going to see here you got the check style. You got the voucher where you have one check on top and then two stubs at the bottom. You've got the standard with three checks on there. And then you've got the wallet where you've got the three checks, but you've got these stubs to the left. Those are generally the three types of checks that QuickBooks lets you print. Now, these are pre-printed check stock that, of course, you can order from Intuit. You can order from your bank. Um, you can go online. I mean, you can get them virtually anywhere. But these are pre-printed check stock that you would use and then you put into your printer. Okay. So when you, you know, a, a common thing that people think is that, okay, I'm going to print a check from QuickBooks and it's just going to magically print a check out of my printer. That's not the case. You have to get, you know, the, the secure checks that banks will accept and they're going to have to be pre-printed with all the information. So all QuickBooks is doing is printing the check information onto that check. You know, the pay to, the dollar amount, et cetera. And that's about it. So again, you've got to, you've got to pre-order. You've got to order these checks from somewhere. Okay, so let me cancel out of this. All right, I'm going to cancel this. I want to go over to the printer setup option here. So if I go down to file and I go to printer setup, Okay, we want to choose a check. All right. Okay, so you see here, it looks very similar to what I just had. So if we said we're going to, you know, use this voucher check. Okay, you've got the settings here, just kind of the basic settings. You can see over here, you can change the fonts on the form. This is the basic fonts uh, that, that uh, you know, yeah, the vendor name, the dollar or the, the words for the dollars, etc. You can change that. If you do print your address, name and address on the company, you can change that as well. And there's another option here that says partial page. Okay. And this is if you do have a single check. All right. So in this case, we've got portrait chosen because in, in this example, I'm using a, you know, the check at the top with the two vouchers at the bottom. 
But if you do have a single check, you, you know, put it in the center or on the side. It all depends on how your printer prints. Okay. So we're going to leave this as portrait. Now, the really, really important thing here is a line. Okay. So you can see here, click print sample to use the alignment grid. Enter amount to move the text in one one hundredth of an inch increment. So what you're going to do, you're going to print a sample. Okay. So it's going to print, QuickBooks will print a sample blank check to your printer. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, go get that print off. You're going to hold it behind a real check that you have and hold it up to the light to make sure it's lined up. If it's not, you can change the positioning. Okay. So if you need to move, let's say the uh, print up a little bit, you're going to move the vertical. Okay. If you need to move it down, you're going to go down. All right. And then if it's horizontal, if it needs to go left or right, you're going to move this left or right. And then you continue to print a sample until you get it to line up with your check stock. All right. This is how you're going to align your checks. Now, it'd be great if on the first try that it just lines up, but that's typically not the case. So you're going to have to go through this exercise to get your checks to line up. Okay. So once you do this, you know, you hit, okay, you've got that all set up and our settings otherwise should be good. You can add a logo, which is a file uh, or a signature file. So it will print the signature or the logo on the check. Uh, these are uh, files that you have uploaded that you can put in here. Okay. You can also choose to print the company name and address. If you click use logo or print signature image, it's basically just like choosing these right here. Okay. All right. We're going to leave that off because we have pre-printed checks with our pre-printed company name and address. Okay. So now we're going to click okay. And now we're going to go up here and we're going to go down to file print forms. And we're going to choose checks and you'll see then that you can choose whichever checks you want to print. These are all the ones that we said to print later. You want to make sure it's coming out of the right bank account and you want to make sure that the first check number that's going to be printed will be right here. Okay. Then of course you're going to click okay. Then it's going to take you to this screen. Now all of this should be set up as is. You can see you can't align from this page, uh, but you can add a logo and a signature. And of course, it's got the collate checked, which you want, number of copies, one. And then, of course, you can print company name and address. You can do some of those options on this page as well. Then you're going to go ahead and, and click print. And your checks, you know, you're going to have to make sure uh, to see how to put the checks into your printer because sometimes they face up, sometimes they face down. Uh, it varies by the type of printer. Okay, and that's it. So you're going to print these off. You sign them. You know, then you stuff them in the envelopes with the bills, whatever you're sending a check for, and then you send them off and you should be good to go. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, feel free to uh, join me over at the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org.